Thanks, Nick. And then for our last question, we'll go to Tom Bateman for BBC. Tom, you should be able to unmute yourself. Tom, are you there? Can you hear me? Now we can. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Thanks, Kirby. Um, I just wanted to ask you about the dynamics of negotiation now, because clearly Netanyahu is in a strengthened position, Hamas are in a weakened position. And it felt to me as though the Israeli Prime Minister was um, redrawing some of his conditions yesterday, because he said that Hamas fighters who are holding hostages, you know, could release hostages and get away with their lives. That's quite a different um, exchange than the ceasefire deal suggests. And I just wonder if you think now, you talked a little bit about um, if the negotiations start up again, um, where you start from. But presumably, he would want to very much change the conditions now. And I, I just wonder what your assessment of the all that's on the table now, the chances of that still you know, carrying through what your assessment is of that. Well, with the caveat that I won't speak for the prime minister, um, uh, uh, I, I don't n know that his comments yesterday necessarily connote um, a, a move on the goalpost when it comes to getting the hostages home. I mean, he's absolutely right. Um, as, as was the case two days ago, so is the case today that um, Hamas uh, could simply release all the hostages right now, do the right thing and, and, and let them go. Um, and as the prime minister has said before, you know, that would dramatically hasten an end to the conflict. If they just did the right thing and let them go, they shouldn't be held in the first place. Um, so he, the, the way we read that is he was restating what he has said many times before. Um, we, we obviously don't see any sign that that's going to happen. Now, again, we'll see what Hamas does and how they react to Sinwar's killing. Um, but we're, no, no signs as you and I are speaking right now that that's in the offing, which is why um, the president made made it clear last night on a couple of occasions and again today that this moment of justice also provides us a moment of opportunity to see what we can do um, to to uh, to get those hostages home and also to get a surge of humanitarian assistance into the people of Gaza who so desperately need it. 